Hi kids! Welcome to our lesson in science 4 for quarter 2 and we are now at week 6. So for this week, we're going to discuss the different life cycles of animals. So are you ready to discover the different life cycles of animals including us humans? So let's start with um, expressing and identifying our lesson purpose for this week. So, science uses a diverse system to categorize or classify all the organisms, so such as animals and plants, on our planet, including people. Animals are classified based on their unique characteristics and on process they reproduce or how their babies are born. Some are born like us and others are hatched from eggs like fish and birds. Understanding the life cycles of animals are important because it helps us learn about the different ways animals live, grow, and reproduce. Animals have to reproduce to preserve and perpetuate their species. So, katulad natin ng mga tao, kat uh, kailangan ding mag-reproduce ng mga animals para magpatuloy yung lahi at hindi mawala yung kanilang uri. So, katulad nating mga tao, we need to reproduce para patuloy na dumami at hindi ma-extinct yung tao, hindi ba? So, yun po yung uh, purpose ng um, lesson natin for this week. So, we're going to learn the different cycles or life cycles of animals. So, to start, start off, let's have the life cycle of a butterfly. So, from the egg, a butterfly's life starts with an egg. From that egg, hatches a tiny creature called a caterpillar, where caterpillars love to eat plants and grow quickly. When caterpillars are done eating, they create a case called chrysalis. Alright? And then inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar changes into an adult butterfly. Once the transformation is complete, the adult butterfly breaks free from the chrysalis. Okay. So we have um, another illustration here in graph or graphics. Okay, so as we see the life cycle of a butterfly. So from egg to the larva and then pupa, yung kanyang pinaka uh, cover, no? Before siya maging isang adult butterfly all right so next we have the insect life cycles so many insects begin their lives as eggs and when they hatch they look quite different from their parents in the rare or and are called pupas insects that undergo incomplete metamorphosis have three life stages so they have the egg or they are the egg nymph and adult so pupa are inactive don't have wings and may not have legs as they grow they start to change shape which we call metamorphosis there are two kinds of metamorphosis complete and incomplete so complete metamorphosis includes insects like beetles bees and butterflies and insects Undergo incomplete metamorphosis include insects like grasshoppers and stick insects. Now let's have and let's go over with the life of a frog. So frogs being amphibians undergo a unique transformation. Their life cycle initiates from an egg. From this egg, a tadpole emerges which resides in water. Initially, it possesses gills and tail but lacks legs. Gradually, the tadpole develops into a froglet with legs, ultimately losing its gills and tail. And over the time, the froglet transforms it into an adult frog. This adult frogs lay eggs, thus making the beginning of a new life cycle. So we can see here another illustration and image of 
about the life cycle of a frog. So from egg and then into tadpole, froglet and into adult frog. All right, so this time let's have a quick look about the life cycle of a chicken. So birds including chickens begin their life cycle from eggs. Okay, so a young chicken known as a chick looks similar to an adult chicken. The life cycle of a chicken starts as an egg, hatches, grows, and matures into an adult chicken. Now, adult chickens lay eggs, starting a new life cycle. Birds like the bird of paradise and cassowary have a similar life cycle to chickens. In various bird species, life begins within an egg. A newly hatched bird is called a hatchling. During growth in the nest and while being cared for by parents, the hatchling is called a nestling. Once it develops flight feathers and is ready to leave the nest, the bird takes take its first flight, becoming a fledging. When the fledging or juvenile reaches full growth, it becomes a mature or adult bird. Okay, so again, we have here an illustration or picture about the life cycle of chicken. So from egg to the chick to an adult chicken. Alright, now let's go over to the life cycle of a human. Okay, so from the fetus in the womb, so nabubuo yung baby no, sa loob ng womb sa sinapupunan ng ating mga nanay. So, a baby begins as a tiny thing when a mother's egg joins with a father's sperm. Inside the mother's tummy, it grows into a little human shape. We call this the fetus. The fetus can't eat, drink, or breed on its own and needs its mom. After about 9 months, the baby is born. Babies at this stage are called infants. They can't talk yet, but they can cry, eat, and let you know when they're hungry or uncomfortable. Moms usually feed them with milk. Then they enter the childhood stage. Babies grow into children who learn to crawl, walk, talk, and do more things. They make friends, read, write, and become more independent. In this stage, we have toddlers, so from age 1 to 3 years old, and then preschoolers from ages 3 to 5 years, and primary school children from ages 5 to 12 years old. Now they enter the adolescent stage as kids grow into teenagers, usually from 13 to 19 years old. Their bodies change a lot, or they change a lot. They grow taller, get hair in new places, and, uh, and their voice may depend. They become more independent, and their behaviors change. People from 20 to 65 years old are called adults. They can have families and continue the life cycle. We can split adults into young adults, so from 30, 20 to 36 years old, and we also have the middle-aged adults from 36 to 55 years old and older adults from 55 to 60 year, uh, 65 years of age. When a person reaches 65 years old, they are now uh, uh, they are called an old or elderly person. How long um, how long someone lives can vary, but usually depends on their health. Some people live beyond 100 years while others don't. The human life cycle comes to an end at this stage. Alright, so now we can see here the facts for or the stages of human life cycle. So, from the fetus in the womb uh, to being a baby, no? kapag na ipanganak na, we call them baby or infant. So, their childhood is divided into three, the toddler stage, the preschooler stage and the primary school stage. Now enter uh, being the teenager life or being adolescence 
and then into adult and to an old person. Alright, so after we have discussed the different life cycles of animals, so we've discussed the life cycle of, um, we have an overview about the life cycle of a butterfly, a frog, a chicken, okay, and then of course the bird, ganun din, na discuss din natin lightly yung, um, life cycle ng bird which is almost the same with the chicken and we also have um, discussed the life cycle of humans so how does a human grow so from being a fetus until being an old person so now let's have your formative assessment so for your formative assessment you can answer the questions below based on your understanding. All right, and that's it for week six. So thank you so much for being with me. So I hope you got uh, a new learning from this lesson uh, we've had an overview about the different li life cycles of an animal so including us humans so thank you for being with me and for joining me for the past uh, 10 minutes and i hope you learned something from our lesson for this week so this is teacher isa thank you and see you again in week seven bye